Hey everyone, um, I have my uh, window open here. It's really nice out today. It's about 20 above freezing. I'm just wondering. I think uh, I think I have my settings messed up on my camera because if I have it open all the way, it goes really dark on me. So I think I have my brightness set too low because it's, it should look really bright in here, but it seems kind of really dark now. But I mean, if I open it more, it just it seems to get like darker. Or well, maybe not. Yeah, really tell. I think it gets a little darker. See, it goes really dark there. It just did it. Um, anyways, I'll have to maybe look into fixing that for tomorrow. Um, today was a pretty good day. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better about stuff today. Uh, kind of, it was nice to go go to work and talk with people and just get off my mind for a bit. And it seems to be the best thing. I think that's why Sundays seem to be so difficult because I'm just sitting here with my brain kind of thing and not a good thing. So. Um, you know, Fridays and Saturdays I usually try to keep busy. Um, now I don't know what my game plans are for weekends because uh, obviously there's some stuff going on with me. My friend, he texted me today asking if I was mad, but I didn't, I didn't message back yet. I just don't really want to get into it right now because I'm still pretty upset about it. So I want to just wait till I cool off about it um, so I don't say something I don't really mean. Um, but uh, yeah, so that I'm just kind of leaving for now. Um, Work was okay. It was kind of boring, but most days are. So, um, yeah, I was doing. Uh, I finished up a bunch of my training I had to do to do some like paperwork, reading, and little mini tests and stuff. Uh, they used to like get a group together, and there used to be a teacher, like the coordinator, the health and safety person would do all the training. But now they just kind of seem to throw these packages at you, and you got to do it. You know, you're supposed to get free time for it, but um, we're kind of busy, so I've just been doing it when I can here and there, and <coughs> finally got that finished up today. It's always true and false answers, and they're it's like open book tests, so it's very easy, and I've already done it. They make you redo them annually, so yeah, they're very easy. My camera's sucking today. You can't even see the one side of my face. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll try and remember to tw twiddle with those settings. For tomorrow, um, anything else I can tell you? Uh, there's really not too much going on right now that hasn't already been talked about. Um, yeah, basically just trying to keep my mind busy, and uh, things will improve uh, slightly here in a bit. And, uh, and yeah, once I get just kind of used to it, some stuff, and I'll be probably okay. Um, yeah, that crap, I don't know what else to say. Oh, I had kind of a headache uh, today. I've been getting a lot of headaches lately. I just think it's really from the stress, but, um, but yeah. I need to uh, go to the dentist next week, I think, again. Oh, no, no, next week. Oh, it's not like for another three or four weeks, actually. That's a while. I thought it was sooner than that. My brother went today. He, uh, when we were out together on uh, Friday night, uh, we were walking to the pub, and he, I don't know if he tripped over the curb or over the grass or what, but um, he fell and scuffed his chin, um, and he has caps on his front teeth, and one of the caps fell off, so nothing major. He said it was already falling off or cracked or something, so he's getting it fixed. He's got like over $500 for the dental work to get done, but luckily he has benefits. Well, he has to pay for his benefits, but obviously not that much. Um, I think it's like $30 a month or pay, I don't know, it's, a, it's kind of a lot actually, considering I get mine for free, which I really like that, um, especially when it was almost $200 just for a cleaning last week, um, I did buy flossers, where did I put them, I bought flossers, but um, they weren't what I was hoping, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to use them, I don't know where they are now, they were, I thought they had like a handle and it was just like, you know, like, a floss was on, on the edge of it, but it's like a fully, like, floss, it's just a piece of floss that's like kind of like folded a certain way and glued together and you know, I, I couldn't, I had an issue with it. I need ones with the, you know, the stick on them. I thought that they did have that, so I guess that's what happens when you buy stuff online. Luckily they're only like a dollar something. I think I found them. I did. Um, they're only like two dollars or something, but I mean I bought two because I thought I was going to use them and maybe I'll try again, but I'll show you one here. See, it's just... The lighting is so bad. It's just a piece of string, really. I guess I need to put it in front of my hand so you actually see it. I don't know, yeah, it's difficult for you to see, but it's like a little hoop. Yeah, it's kind of like 
But I don't see. I can't get it on my teeth. Like I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I don't. Know, I don't like it though. I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to hold it like this. <laughs> I don't know. I I definitely need something with a handle. I misunderstood these, so I've got a big thing of these useless things now. Cause then my mom or something. She I think she flosses pretty regularly. Um, or I can give them to my nana too because I know that she uses floss. She uses the uh, just the roll, like you know, you pull out like string. But I oh, I can't use that stuff. That's the reason I don't I have been good at flossing is because I just I can't get a routine for it and get it going. It's really difficult for me. But I think if I get the right ones, the girl at the dentist showed me which ones. So I have to get out to the store. Um, let me go get my groceries this week. Um, no idea what's going on this weekend yet. No idea. Um, we do need to go hang out with uh, Stacy on here. Um, Shorty Stacer that uh, lives in my town here. My bike is unfortunately still broken. I'm so irked about that. I need to go down and pick up a tube for that. I'm going to try to go to the hardware store. I'm sure that they'll have one. Um, fix my new bike. I want to get that done within the next couple of weeks before I get really busy with stuff and uh, even more stressed out. So I want to uh, get that done. So I need to make a note for that maybe this weekend when I go down for my grocery stuff if it's nice out because it's like 20 above zero today like I said and sunny and very spring like so if that consists all week um, there's a good chance I could bike down on Thursday or Friday whenever I want to get my grocery stuff and uh, go over to the hardware store as well I can use my dad's bike but it, it has almost zero brakes and it really scares me using that because if I need to stop in a hurry I couldn't so I don't think that's even legal for me to use it so um, I need to get that taken care of and that bike fixed um, so I had a feeling that like I had filled them up really well the night before and I took my bike to school to work the next day and I came home and I felt my front tire which was a little bit slacker and my mom was like oh it's it's fine right and I, I said I think it's losing a bit of air but I said it's probably normal we'll leave it and I never touched it for about a week or two and, and I go yesterday and it was just totally flat and it really really made me mad so I need to go and buy a tube for that um a little so do you need to go to the post office as well because uh I ordered some speakers for my laptop for when I watch stuff on my TV through my laptop because I can plug my laptop in, but um, it always goes through the laptop speakers and they're really bad. Oh, there's Snickers, my cat, or my brother's cat, rubbing at the door to get out. Um, so, uh, so yeah, hopefully those will be in. Um, oh, I should have an HST there too because I know people got HST like almost a week or two ago, and I know I always get it about two weeks after because. A lot of people have direct deposit, and I have never gotten that done yet. I do need to do that because I hate going to the bank, so I'll probably just put in the green machine in the instant teller. I don't like going to the bank. Um, it's a small town, and everybody knows you. Like, I went in there once in September when I bought my scooter, and I took out like seven or eight hundred dollars, how much the scooter was, and uh, they're like, oh, what's the money for? I'm like, I'm buying something. They're like, what are you buying? And I was like, like, what the fuck? You don't ask. Sorry, for that word there. You don't ask your customer what they're buying with their money. That doesn't make any sense. I was really pissed off about that, and I haven't gone back. Um, but that's the kind of stuff that they'll do. They're really nosy like that, and I just don't really like it. So I'd rather go to the bank machine or do it online. I do everything online because I could do it all online. Um, except for when I get GST and HST, like government tax credit kind of stuff. My taxes just went out um, this week. I know we wait really late because I just get mine done with my parents' guy because I don't have to go out and I don't have to deal with it. And I just leave it down there and then when it, they deal with it all, the, my tax guy, and then when it comes to paying, I just pay my parents back because they pay it all at once. And uh, it's about 50 bucks. It's a lot cheaper than a lot of places are like 70. I know H&R Block's like 80. Um, and so he said I was, he's like, oh, he's been busy this year, so I don't know if he's saying about my income but like it's actually lower because um, I was off on short term disability for three months um, so I lost, I lo only got 75% of my income at that point which I'm really thankful for, I would have been so screwed financially um, so I'm actually would have been out about five or six thousand dollars less than I should have on my, G on my tax so and I have one course of school that I put on there so that'll help with my taxes um, and then plus next year I'll be in school for like full time kind of so I should get good tax rebate next year um, 
But yeah, um, also I want to mention this thing about, I don't know, people probably heard this stuff about Justin Bieber going around again. Like, there's this huge uproar and this huge blow-up about him taught, put writing something in a guest book at an Anne Frank museum, which it was kind of inappropriate, but I think for what people are blowing it up to be, he's, you got to remember, he's like a 19-year-old kid, like, they don't have, like, those kind of manners, you know, and he probably doesn't understand the whole thing, like, I don't know a ton about it, but I, I do remember watching videos on, about her and reading the diary, actually, so I do know a bit about it, um, he said, like, he wrote in it, uh, if Anne Frank was here today, I wonder if she would be a believer or something, because, you know, they call Bieber fans believers, whatever, I don't freaking know, I don't like them, but, um, apparently wrote that, this is a huge uproar about it, but, um, I think they're throwing it out of context, sure, he shouldn't have said it, but, I mean, is it really worth the news? I don't think so. That's the problem these days, people are just so judgmental, and, like, I'm reading the comments on it, and people are just, like, totally ribbing in on him, and I'm like, come on, people, he's 19 years old, and it's not even that big of a thing, like, this is, like, 100 years ago or something when this happened, like, come on, but uh, I do understand the, you gotta respect your history and stuff, but I think it, I think it was blown out a bit, I don't really think that the person who had the museum really should have leaked that out, it was none of their business to do that, but this is what I think, a lot of people think differently. But every, I was reading a lot of stuff on this TMZ, and it's a really just gossipy, stupid website. And, uh, man, the comments, people are really rude to other people. Like, it's really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. The cyber bully type stuff and the cyber bickering. And people don't have balls in real life, so they're always online here. And they will start huge fights online, especially this Facebook is really uproaring. Like, with certain pictures, there's huge debates. And I'm just, like, reading through them, like, oh, my gosh, people get a life, you know, <laughs> um, anyways, I don't want to make this crazy long, but I just want to touch on that a little bit, I thought that was kind of dumb, okay, I don't think there's anything else I was going to say, I've kind of bab babbled on a little bit more than I wanted to, so I will get going here, hopefully I'll have a good Monday, and uh, the weather definitely helped my mood today, so that is good, anyways, I'll see y'all later, bye.